Oh, hi everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Is a mighty lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome to Showcase Sunday number 114. <laughs> We've been going with these for quite a while. Where, uh, yeah, we'll be showcasing a, a, yeah, a few games for about half an hour each. I don't say this too often, but I generally skip PvP-only games at uh, most. Uh, well, keep things a bit thinned out. And I do skip some others for other reasons. The, though it's been, <laughs> it's been like two weeks since I selected this bunch. Uh, in alphabetical order about so I've, I'm drawing a blank on if there are any that I skip with these but yeah the first one that we'll be starting with is the Solterre conspiracy so yeah let's just start and start the timer yeah I'm sure what I guess we can always investigate the loss of the showcase Sunday stream Okay. I'll have tested with this game and most of the other ones that I have prepared for today. I only tested to see if they would cooperate with OBS and the uh, borderless gaming. So we'll have to see how things go. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it, the Soul Fair part is actually the game Soul Fair with cards and not named after something. Or Solitaire, but. Let's see, applicants identified. Can I... Hey, how's your head? Okay, first off, I apologize. This isn't exactly protocol, but then again, what is right now, huh? You know? No, you don't. Um, I'm sorry, you know nothing. This is all new to you. Um, okay. Have you ever seen a spy movie? You're in a Protego safe house, not far from your home. And once again, I'm very sorry I brought you here. Under different circumstances, there'd be a more formal invite. If you were black helicopters, we might get a beer, you know <laughs> what I mean? Okay, yeah, silent treatment, I get that. That makes sense, I deserve that, I deserve that. Let me be as frank as possible. You're here because we need your help. I work for Protego, all right? We're an independent spy network, multiple agencies working together. We salute no flag, we discriminate against no applicant. Our only mission, our sole mission is to protect the innocent we're the good guys okay <laughs> we're the good guys i'm an operator gym ratio alpha division i coordinate agents in the field at least i did i used to there's this guy a dangerous man right he calls himself solitaire he disrupted our network revoked my coordination rights to my team my agents are in the field completely alone, blind. They do not know what's going on, and we don't know what Solitaire is up to, but we know it can't be good. But I have a workaround, all right? I pulled your name from a list of candidates. I don't know how you got there, but someone way higher up than me thinks you have something special. I brought you here because the system has no limits on new applicants. You can't write missions, but you can take them. If you can get to level 15 ranking, and I bet you can, then you can fix all of this. You'll earn that ranking by successfully completing missions using the Cyber Augmented Recon and Defense System. It's an abstract interface, but it'll help you get your spy crews in order. At level one, you can only command a single crew, the Mantis Group, and poof, they are messy, but they get the job done. As you progress, you'll unlock more crews, you'll take on bigger missions, you'll keep on going and leveling up and hopefully get us out of this. Good luck, Spy Master. I'll be with you every step of the way. Oh, and again, sorry about your head. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> at least they, at least they're giving an interesting spin on whatever this is. 
that boy don't need no need to add on that <laughs> uh, let's see the calm before the the, the the storm before the calm okay clever one's switching that around uh, let's see Solter has a recon location behind the Alps disguised as a weather station deploy mantis for intel okay so we can choose between campaign classic or Pl campaign plus which puts a turn limit on things let's see Mountain climbs of Solitaire's recon base, codenamed Perfect Storm, is cold, steep, and deadly. Fortunately, Mantis deals with deadly every day. It's <clears throat> if the elements weren't bad enough, then the higher thugs winding inside, smug and warm, present a more direct challenge. Use cards to direct Mantis into position and lead the charge. Once inside, very little expert knowledge should be required. Low tier intel like this is most likely sitting around on a conveniently found memory stick. Hell, someone's probably recorded a handy audio log or three. You've got this candidate. <laughs> Leaning on the fourth wall a bit there. Let's see. There's only one objective. Sword all cards into the center targets. The glowing ones. Cards are sorted by crews. Running A to the, the, the whole card number system. The first card you need, the A, is under a five. Uh, you should drag the five away. Let's place it on the ten at the bottom right. Um... Uh, Okay, so we need to put them on higher now. Okay, okay, this is playing a little bit differently than the typical solitaire, it seems. Uh, great, so you can place cards on top of any other with a higher value, regardless of crew. So a 5 should, uh, could go on top of a K, or a King, or a 6, but not a 3. You can place these uh, cards on empty stack slots. The A is 3, place it on the center target by dragging it over, or by double-clicking. Okay. Next card you need is a 2, but it's stuck under that 6. Yeah, there. Fortunately, your crew is ready, getting the A home uh, powered up. This, uh, 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 getting the A home powered up this crew's unique ability. Mantis Group's power is collateral, which explodes any stack. Uh, an agent card, Joker uh, or Jack, Queen or King, is placed on, and power, and power targets can be placed on any stack. Ragmantis scoops Jack onto that 6 to explode the stack and expose the 2. Explosions are random, there's no telling where the cards will end up. Okay. Wait, is this the majority of the game? And then... And then <laughs> a modified uh, game of uh, Solitaire, yeah, looks like it. Perfect, the card is now expended, meaning you cannot use its power again until the next job. As you unlock crews, you'll discover each of their powers, both some useful, some dangerous, most both. Okay. Uh, there, 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 there. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack, Queen, and King. That's <laughs> tutorial master. Effortless would, undermine how, <clears throat> Effortless would undermine how impressive Mantis are in the field, but it's uh, fair to say that this went uh, more smoothly than expected. Once we have analysts again, this data will be a treasure trove. You've unlocked another crew, which should introduce a little more complexity to proceedings. Uh, Blood Legacy. Named for Colonel Blood, the legendary gentleman thief, Blood Legacy is a team of well-funded hobbyists, aristocrats with deep pockets who like to play spy games. Congratulations. Wasn't kidding about the Mantis group, right? I certainly wouldn't want to argue with them, because let me tell you, I tried once and it did not work out well. Blood Legacy, they're the old guard, right? They were here long before any of us were, and they seem pretty intent on outliving anyone who has the audacity to turn up later. Uh, they have the kind of uh, wealth and power you can only be born into. No, I get, no, I get that. I, I'm the same way. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. But like the Mantis folks, they have their uses. You'll have to access bigger jobs now, take them, and keep solitaire on the ropes. It's simple, right? Hey, be careful with Blood Legacy. Don't trust anything in our world that existed before you woke up. Really, any power that's been around that long, by definition, it's going to be corrupt. Watch your back. Okay. Okay. I like the uh, live action videos and all that for, you say, kind of rare nowadays for yep. very obvious reasons. But I saw how to say this. It feels like your soldier that has been 
very fancy up. Yeah, and it has been well modified with the card. It, it isn't directly solitaire, but it is still at its base very similar to it. So right, let's do one more mission and then we'll move on to the next game. Caution at the yeah, auction. Well, I guess I feel a bit disappointed. Hmm. Like, again, with the actor all, I it gave me very high expectation. I expected maybe some cars to move around a character all, but no, we just... And you were the expecting cards, more like it's... a Hand of Fate or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Let's see. Stop solitaire associates from obtaining some of these desirable items at an arms auction in Rio. Although Blood Legacy insists it's unnecessary, Mantis will act as bodyguards during this mission at the Underworld's premier annual arms auction. We're here to stop solitaire with little interest in the consequences for the world's criminal fraternity. Blood Legacy will use an account scrambler to bid on various items we know Solitaire's associates are there to obtain. The beauty of the scrambler is that it will tie our bids to Solitaire's associates' accounts. When you get the item, they foot the bill. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Blood Legacy nepotize. Once powered, Blood Legacy agents can nepotize a stack. They sort the stack to place lower numbered cards at the bottom and higher numbered cards on top. Like all agents, they then sink to the bottom of the stack. These agents are dangerous. You may need to do some control damage to clear them. Okay. <laughs> at the bottom, high... Does that mean... Okay, maybe I'm reading things wrong, but doesn't that mean that it, they'll just put things in the reverse of that we want? We'll have to see. Let's see. Uh, one more thing. Multiple crews. Crews have no impact on stack reordering. You can place a card on any higher number from any crew. For example, that seven, you can absolutely move it to the you know, queen below, even though it's from a different crew. Do so. Okay. Ace. Nice. Now place those two A's on targets and you'll be off to a good start. I'll leave you alone now. If you need help, the question mark button at the bottom left will remind you of the rules and tooltips explain the utility of any powered agent cards. Good luck, candidates. Okay. Uh, ah, there's the other one. Okay. And let's see. That goes there. That goes there. And a three. Okay. Four, three, four, five. Oh, okay, so they do need to be stacked on their own crew from the looks of it. Um, let's see. Queen. Okay, not sure why I was trying to dig that one out. Where is. There's the other four. Okay. Uh, you go there. It, Okay, did not mean to activate the card there. You and... Oh, that's... Hmm. We need to clear something out to get that for now. There. There. Okay. Five. Six. Five. And where is the other six? It's over there. Okay. Seven. Seven. Okay. This is being reasonably easy, of course, now, but this is only the second. I'm presuming once you have four crews, it's going to be a bit... Uh, it's going to be tougher to uh, work around your own crews. There. And there. There. Uh. Okay, then just the jacks. And everyone else. There we go. There's only one word to describe the performance during that mission. Elegant. Uh, Blood Brothers complete level 2. All arms obtained at the auction are currently on their way to Black Site for uh, storage. Although presumably some will go missing into Mantis's army. Ar the armory. Okay. Wow, nice. You're doing it. You're figuring out how to play to the strengths of the different crews. It takes so many people so long to do that. All right, it's time I show you why I brought you here. Like I said, my whole team is locked out from crew commands thanks to Solitaire's attack, which means that right now you are the only spy master guiding Protego crew. And don't get me wrong, 
you're doing great. Real proud of you. That thing with the thing in the place, it was awesome. I've never seen Mantis and Blood Legacy work together so well. But Solitaire, all right? Solitaire will seize any opportunity he sees, and we need to be able to confront him on all vectors. At level 15, you can undo the crew lockout. You can assign control to whoever you want, and we can get Alpha Division back to work. It's the only way past the failsafe. And on the way there, you're gonna gain access to more crews, and more crews, and more crews, and keep growing. Eyes on the prize, candidate. Let's take back the nip. Uh, again, I mean, praise the art style, uh, praise the actor and all that, and the humor, but... I'm sorry, just the gameplay itself, it's... A bit lacking. It's nice that they put such a flair around it all, but it's it's not going to be something for us. It's more, uh, it's more a puzzle game with a bit of fancy stories surrounding it. And I do have to say, I I'm getting the feeling that if we were to get to level fifteen, it'd be revealed that he is freaking solitaire, and we're basically been we've been accidentally taking over the system for him. Oh, something like that. Yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the next game, Soundfall. Uh, okay. It worked earlier, so... Okay, it thinks it's still running. Okay, give me a moment then. Turn that off for a second. Uh, let's see. Task Manager... I'm not seeing it among the active processes. Let's see, not even here down on the uh, so the yeah, secondary ones. Okay. Why the heck does it think it's still running then? Hmm. Okay. Third time's the charm. If it doesn't work, then we'll move on to the next one. Yeah, it's it just refuses to work. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guess we show it uh, next time. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Okay, give this one um, a bit of time I... to fix itself. I cannot see stream at the moment. Uh, right, that's because task manager was is over <clears throat> was over the preview. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let me see. Space Hawk. Okay, come. Okay, sometimes this happens with some of the games in that uh, with Borderless Gaming, if I set them to favorite so that they automatically resize to the typical uh, shape, that when I, I, when I start them up another time, they don't get recognized as such. So give me a second to fix that. Yeah. Uh, oh, Space I Hawk. In... Shut. Lisa Charm. Hello, how are you? Hello there, Lisa. We're doing well. <laughs> You're doing well today, eh? and you yourself, welcome to the stream. Uh, give me a second to fix this. So there, 320, 3, 1, 9, 10, Okay, now that should get fixed in about a second. There we go. Okay. Yeah, now it fits. Okay, yeah. The second game we have today then is, well, for, for the showcase, is Death, well, yeah, Space Hulk Deathwing in the Enhanced Edition. And yeah, I I think this game is infamous enough to not need much, too much introduction, but this base, this game is basically based on a uh, an old board game, which has Ooh. had a few, uh, which has had a few video game versions before that. Uh, let's see. Well, how's your stream going? Pretty well, I'd say. Thank you. Well, it minor issues. Yeah. But yeah. Basically, That's what we do in the uh, yeah, yeah. basically what we do in these showcase streams is that we we try a few games for about half an hour each. Sometimes a bit shorter if things are just not interesting or not working, and we'll we'll judge if they be something for us to stream in for later or not. Yeah. For now. And uh, Let's reset yeah. the timer. As you say, recently this game is infamous and has been infamous as ever in any video game format. Is well, it's hard. Yeah. If anything, 
I think it might, you could call it the XCOM before XCOM or something. I forgot it came before or after. I think it, hmm, I'd actually have to check that out. Either way, start up the timer. One thing that certainly can be said about this version of the game is that it is visually really impressive. Okay, what's with all the circles? Simulator for main activated functions. Destroy the targets with your storm bolter. And yeah, what we're playing as as a character <laughs> in this game, you'll be playing as a squad of Terminator Space Marines, which well comes with very heavy, very slow armor. And uh, let's see, oh, that's all this target destroyed, no? Or... Oh, just <laughs> a few more over there, okay. Okay, let's see, Lisa Charm. Well, there, how's your stream going? Uh, I've already answered that. It's going pretty decent. Okay. The targets with your force sword. Okay, hit with Q. Hmm. I thought it would try to do a bit of story on the uh, tutorial, but no, they are just nope, throwing us at the controls and such. Excellent. Your combat systems are operational. Okay, one thing that I think is certainly a thing in this... Uh, okay, so you can sprint. Eliminate your targets by charging. Or charging, they call it here. Though I'm pretty sure in general you'd want to stay out of melee range. You have detected a small problem with one of the compensators, but you may continue the tests. But uh, yeah, Destroy basically this this game is using your uh, strike psychic power. Psych okay. <laughs> okay. No anomaly detected. Continue testing in the next room. Oh, uh, basically what this game is all about and the board game is all about is uh, your arm has been injured by the explosion, as you can see on your status monitor to the right. Open a psychic portal with the side gate. Uh, I'm pressing the button. It's not doing anything. Oh, need to hold it? Okay. But yeah, basically, in this game and the board game and the previous versions, you basically would... Uh... Always, damage to you and your squad will be healed in this secure zone. Use the mobile armory to equip yourself with weapons and psychic powers, as well as to check that the armory machine spirit recognizes you. Uh, yeah, basically, Space Hawks in the Warhammer 40k universe are, well, giant <laughs> scrapyards sticking together. And they are typically infested with, well, the <laughs> tyranids. To the combat zone. Or demons, cultists, <laughs> orcs. It can be infested with by many things, but yeah, Gene Steelers really love them. And yeah, this game is mostly uh, meant to be played as a sort of Left 4 Dead game. Because the AI is not that smart, if I recall correctly. Excellent. Yeah, but it can take a still it are perfectly calibrated. It can be still very dangerous. Now, let's test your hacking system. Approach each door, then perform the requested action for each one. <laughs> knock knock. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> if that's their attempt at hacking, uh... <laughs> okay. Eat a block. Uh... Yeah, hold E on that. Okay. That door is now locked down. And uh, yeah, basically... Yeah, like I said, it is similar to, uh, in some ways, it's similar to <clears throat> Left 4 Dead, only, well, the Horde will not stop, so you will need to manage crowd control by blocking pots and such. 
Go to the next room. Destroy the walls by hitting them in melee to find an important relic. Uh, you should really see, Deathwing is actually a special chapter group of the Dark Angel Legion. Okay. Nothing there, nothing there. Terminator, uh, Terminator specialist who are specializing in, well, space hulking. Yeah, exploring them because they tend to have very ancient uh, technology on them. System operational. Continue. Oh, yeah. I still find it a bit odd that we can sprint. That <laughs> we can sprint yeah, in Terminator armor. Yeah, we can just. You probably can't do it for long distances. <laughs> Test your long ranged hacking system on the turret using your tactical interface and hacking. Okay, scan, hack. Okay, so this is how we can turn uh, More interference. local defenses to our side. Yeah, yeah. This is not a. This is not a game where you can just run and gun. Love the hacking. Or at least not on See, the higher difficulties. Different from the older games and uh, yeah, board games, since you can be controlling from above and not from first person. Okay, this thing fires in double shot bursts, but the second shot tends to go high, it seems, because of the recoil. Yeah, this is definitely not meant to be a long range weapon. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, AI. Apothecaries can use their narthesium to heal their allies. Order your brother to heal you. Uh, follow, heal. There. Okay. Aim at the door and order your brother to hack it. There. Okay. At least the AI is functional enough. Okay, can see a little bar above their heads or a circle above their heads for progress. Yeah. And Ooh, that's what it, is I think. Enchanted edition? This is the enhanced edition, not enchanted. Okay, uh, okay. I hope that means the it's the version they fixed a lot of bugs and such. Chapter champion at difficulty advised. Oh. Okay, it's probably going to kick my ass. Uh, okay. What the? Campaign. Why did it lower itself? Uh, uh, hold on a sec. Okay. Let me reset. There we go. Uh, did it? No. Uh, okay. So come on. There we go. There. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, it's being finicky. Okay. Okay. Chapter champion is normal difficulty. Then we have disciple, lion sword, and no mercy. Let's tr let's try just the normal difficulty then. Okay. Uh -oh. You are now entering a power XL ship. Okay. Yep. Hello, Marco. Let's see. Have no fear. The unofficial co-host in chat is here. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing today? Hello, Marco. Hmm. Loading is taking a bit of time, though I think this game is a bit older by now, from the <clears throat> 2010 somewhere. Okay, at least it speeds up for... <laughs> it speeds over a good part of that. I think hmm. the original was 10, uh, 10 that they came out with enhanced edition later. Let's see, recovering Imperial data. This is Grand Master Belial, addressing all warriors of the First Company. Forged from countless ships in the seething forces of warp space, a space hulk has been deposited here by the uncaring tides of the Immaterium. I have dubbed this drifting lair of abominations 
Olethros. A hive swarm of Tyranids already besets the system. So while the honored warriors of the Deathwing embark upon the purging of this space hulk, our brothers shall assist the Astra Militarum and Imperial Navy in destroying this tendril of the Great Devourer. Command of the assault belongs to an epistolary of the Librarian, a deadly battle psyker of the chapter. Leading a specially assembled squad, the Librarian will investigate abnormal augur returns and psychic emanations from within the space hulk. Premonitions. The ether gifts me visions. I see a threat far more deadly than gene hungry tyrants. A scream and a dark promise. A ship in the shadow. A relic from our secret past. I feel the tightness in my gut as I see a cataclysm as yet unseen. The Opera Mortalis descends upon us. The shadow of death. Brothers, the first scans of the Space Hulk have revealed a Dark Angel ship that dates back to the Age of Heresy. It is located in the heart of the Olethros Space Hulk. This ship from our ancestors seems to be protected by a mysterious energy field. Teleportation to the ship is currently impossible. The only way to reach it is through the main mass of the Space Hulk. Reaching this ship is your primary concern. Trust your battle brothers to deal with the rest of the Olethros. Brothers, retribution is at hand. It is our strength. We are the sons of Caliban. Let fury guide your weapons. Let vengeance be your song. We are the angels of death, and our enemies shall fall. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's see, Marco, I'm okay, just had lunch and I got Toblerone, okay. Lucky. Held in place like an oversized Lego man. <laughs> Probably a good idea though, with the amount of force that these things would impact with. Yeah, we're digging through from the sounds of it already. And from the monitors. And impacts. Let's see, the power carrier XL class. Okay, tactical interface. Brother Librarian, the initial boarding strike is proceeding, but we have lost contact with Squad Gideon. Your sensorium should receive Gideon's beacon signal though it will be weak. We need Squad Gideon to secure the breaching zone. Locate them as quickly as possible. When you're successful, proceed to secure the landing area to establish the full bridgehead. Praise the lion. Okay. Let's see, we can choose between this, uh, these power fists. Let's see, it has an explosion radius, but it is slower than the force uh, swords. And let's see, deals a bit less anti-armor and a bit more damage. Okay, let's, let's just go with this, so we don't spend too long on this, because we've already spent a lot of time on the, well, <laughs> on the tutorial. Yeah, oh dear. Oh yeah, I think that, yeah, there was another uh, Space Hulk game that released before this one, or after this one. You? Probably before this one, there was a bit more aching to the old school one. Okay. We're sending Gideon's beacon channel to you. Swift vengeance. And yeah, like I said, the visuals are still rather impressive. Oh yeah, do mm. They may be a bit too early for the time for their uh, rather infamous for almost destroying people's computers especially with yeah. the flamethrowers okay we've got two others here following after us 
I think the typical squads are... Yeah, we're, we're not going to be able to climb this. The typical squads are more four-man, if I recall correctly. I know that Beanie streamed this for a bit with others. On the highest difficulty, because he remains to be a, <laughs> a masochist on that aspect. Uh, oh, let's God. see. Yeah, How do we get like up there? There's a certain oh, YouTuber who made this really famous... Uh, uh, I think it was Russian Badger. This is where we need to go. Okay. Okay, we can't unlock this one. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm seeing a few blue doors, but I'm presuming to be doors on the map there, so let's head there. A lot of purity seals. Okay. So, yeah, we aren't just doing this alone. We're part of a massive assault on this thing with the rest of the chapter trying to, or rest of the assigned uh, teams trying to wipe out the rest of this thing whilst we are supposed to be going for the core to find out what the hell is going on. Okay. Let's see, we've got... Hello. I'm the sorry, knows all, comprehends all. Let's see. The sensorium have detected a vessel belonging to the ancient times uh, of a legionary Astartes and the Mechanicum. Indications are that it is in good condition. We must reach this vessel. It is likely to contain ancient machines, data, and relics. So, occurring these tre treasures, uh, there's quite a bit of spelling mistakes here, as well as that, well, this is just cut off here. Uh, level 5 encryption, okay. Okay, that's going to complicate things. We'll have to go the long way around, it seems. Okay. Nothing on board has noticed us yet, it seems. That is not going to last. Even more data to find. Okay, it needs to be on, it needs to be translated from binary. This is a message to all explorer mages, archaeozenologists, and other treasure seekers. Don't miss this opportunity. This treasure chest of data contains myster mysteries dated from the Heresy Wars and even earlier of the sacred knowledge of the Omnissiah. Mechanicus of the sacred cult must do whatever it takes to recover them, including risking their own lives. Exxon says da, da, da. Make sure you consolidate all the data collected, praise the Omnissiah, blah blah blah. blah. Okay, so basic <laughs> cult of Mechanicus uh, <clears throat> nonsense. It's. Oh, uh, I was caught. I watched. I uh, listened to a long video about them today. <laughs> and we found some of the Gene Sealer cults. Which are rather easily recognizable by the fact that they, well, have multiple limbs extra. Oh, I forgot! Yeah, this is one of the few games where the Yin Steel Cults actually appear for once. Okay, was that someone going down the ladder there? Ah, we've got incoming. We're right behind that door. Oop. Well, I guess we found one of Gideon's men. We're not. Okay. There's another one around the corner. But we need to go this way. I think. Yeah, that's also a it thing with Space Hulks. They're mazes. Yeah, and not all, usually they, they can be made of many ships, like sometimes they are bolted, smashed together with another ship, which can be, well, any other ship, like an alien ship, cargo ship, a space cargo ship in this command, uh, asteroid. So yeah, not always easy to navigate. Yeah. So, I'm surprised, I did not know that 
Yeah, the only gene steel records I know of uh, would be the gene steel orcs that could be usually they like to hang on in spanks, hulks, and such. But oh, hello. Other gene steel records would do that as well. Uh, Mike, uh, you want to say? My guess is where these these cults spawned from was uh, ooh, someone got very unlucky there. Uh, at least one of these ships probably ended up in the warp uh, <clears throat> with uh, the crew on uh, with crew on board, and well, they find gene stealers and the gene stealers start doing their work with people they can easily uh, manipulate and such and start a cult for that. Yeah, do they usually do them not plan it? Yeah. Is the thing. So makes you wonder why they decide to do the cool cult on a hull. No, well, probably because they were pretty stuck here, so why the hell not? Hmm. See, it, I don't it, know if it, there's a thing where you can find extra loot or such. We, there's probably relics hidden around. But don't know too much on other stuff. Hmm. I'm not the expert of the gene stealers said enough, but I do plan to watch more. So I'm not be surprised if the, the yes, developers have decided to add more uh, variety for usually in the old games you were usually well only, only gene stealers. Gene stealers. <laughs> yeah. So what are the markings on the map there? They look like Xenos icons, so I'm guessing they indicate where enemies might spawn or something? An uh, icon? Wait, yeah, what do you say, the icon? Yes. The circle that's currently at the top, the, uh, the circle thing that's currently at the top of the minimap. Looks oh, like okay, a curled up uh, uh, ripper. Oh, yeah, that, that's tearing its symbol. Yeah, that, that probably denotes a spawn point. I think the only reason they use that symbol is because they. So the cultists use the symbols. I think. Okay, what have we here? Let's see, relics of the past. We found scepter of power. Okay. Sensorium is showing multiple points in your in returns to your area. Stay vigilant. They're vigilant. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ah, and here's the actual gene stealers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you get if these get in range of you, it's generally done for yeah yep <laughs> but it's just crawling along the floor trying to get underneath all of the gunfire and this is kind of reason why you this didn't terminate the armored people for yeah, yeah those claws slice through frame. anything less yeah like cost. Our foes approach quickly. We must reactivate local defensive systems to secure the bridge. Oh yeah, they... While the Terminator can handle it better, they're still in great danger in melee with them, uh, those damn things. Yeah, because they are not agile enough to actually get into a good fight with them. Yeah, they can still tank them? From at least the... Again, it's a case of uh, it's better than regular armor against the Tyranids uh, in this uh, combat scenario. Yeah, in, though in this case it is more of a, a comparison between just a, sh a sheet of paper and a sheet of cardboard. Okay, what we're about to end 
the showcase because the timer is about to hit. In the that must showcase of there. this game, they have more games to show. Yeah. Let's see. I, I could see us do a series on this, but that is story. True. I don't know if there's friendly fire. Uh, let's get those, those generators and then we'll call it. All right. I don't know if the campaign can be done multiplayer though. Uh, I forgot. I know they talked about it, they mentioned it in uh, the Russian Badger video, but I forgot. It would be a lot easier if I stood still for those shots, but oh uh, well, we kind of need to keep moving because there's gene stealers on our ass. Yep. Reloads. Okay, this way. And yeah, I think we, we're getting a preview of what most of the gameplay would be like. Constantly on the move, trying to stay ahead of the flood because... Actually, I forget if we have limited ammo or not. Oh, no idea, actually. Bye-bye, ugly. I'm not seeing anything that denotes limited ammo. Actually, there's, a, there's an infinite symbol on the next to it. So for the, this first mission, I think we do have infinite ammo. Uh, we do have... We can jump back to the, to the sanctuary with the side gate, but it takes time to lower... Uh, it takes time to... Yeah activate that and I think we can only use the limited amount of times so I'm presuming with difficulties the amount of times that we can and can't will go up and down hmm in the ways anything more to do here now the activation of the generators has Ew. broken a dormant gene stealers. It is time to establish the bridgehead to allow the main force to breach. Go to your assigned battle zone with your command squad. Well, now we just stirred a bee's nest, or a hornet's nest, whatever. But let's call it there. Okay. There. Uh, I do fear that if we were to stream this game story or try to stream it in full, that it could get uh, it moved down again. It could get well glitchy like that. Though it could also become a bit monotone since we typically aren't moving that fast and such. Yeah, if you recall it being short and straightforward, so it right. will not be long series. But yeah, the glitches. Could be a concern indeed, especially when it does that. Also, for this, I need to swap this around. Oh, wait. Okay, that's supposed to be down lower. Uh, give me a sec to correct that then. Transform, edit. One more that should do, and lower the amounts down here. I need to double check that if it's resized well. Hmm. I guess tiny bit visible still. I can't tell if there is a one pixel line at the bottom there now or not. So let's... Oh, Gary's at the top still. Okay. Transform. Bot at the top. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I thought I had that figured out already, but apparently not. Oh well, now yeah, it's been I, corrected. I don't see the game at the moment. Second. Preview. Always on top. There. Okay. 
And yeah, our next game for today is, well, another one that is pretty infamous among the people who do know it. This one is Spec Ops The Line. And yeah, if you know, you know. If you don't know, well, this game has a few surprises. It's basically that <laughs> this game can be... With this game, you can basically apply that uh, people who know, people who don't know meme with uh, Mr. Fantastic in color and uh, black and white contrast. Let's see, difficulty, walk on the beach, enemies drop like flies and pose, and pose less, yeah, less of a threat than normal for players who are new to shooters. Aim snap on is enabled by default. Combat up and these are dangerous and put up a solid fight. Appro uh, yeah, appropriate for most players. Suicide mission, enemies are aggressive, more lethal, veteran only, and Fubark. <laughs> okay, <laughs> which is locked behind this one. Yeah, let's just go with normal difficulty. And yeah, an American flag hung upside down. It's generally bad news. Uh, are there subtitles? Yep, yes, they are. Okay, let's quickly turn that off. I must have forgotten that. Quite a start. <laughs> okay, why did it just jump like that for a second? You're still here. And yeah, wherever we are, this place has seen quite some shit already from the looks of it, huh? Yeah, I just hope no one lives in these. A lucky fucker got ejected. Oop, oop, that was that was a bit low. Just keep it steady. Mouse jump again there. Yeah, it is being run with, with DX window, so there is likely to be some oop, <laughs> some issues that need to be adjusted. Come on there. Oh, come on, really? Uh, okay, the, the mouse can escape from the window, even though I specifically turned on that it should stay in it. Well, ain't this our lucky fucking day, huh? Oh dear. Is John Conrad the greatest man I ever served with? Well, I don't know. There was this one time in Kabul when he dragged my bleeding carcass half a mile to an evac chopper. So maybe I'm biased. But the facts don't lie. The man's a fucking hero. <coughs> Remember when the first storms hit Dubai? You're probably all safe and sound at home watching TV. Well, Conrad was leading the damn 33rd out of Afghanistan. Instead of coming home, he volunteered his entire battalion to help with the evac. Then all you did was send a check. 
Rumor is Conrad was ordered to abandon the city. He defied that order, and the 33rd stood with him. Now, the official story's still hazy, but what happened next? All we know for sure is that the storms got worse. Much worse. Last thing we heard out of Dubai was that Conrad was leading a caravan of survivors out of the city. That was six months ago. Then, two weeks ago, we picked up this transmission. This is Colonel John Conrad, United States Army. Has been evacuation of Dubai has been in complete failure. Death toll. Walker. What is it, Luger? Got a situation, sir. Mission critical? <laughs> no, sir. Then take it up the chain, Sergeant. Roger that. Lieutenant Adams. I hear you, Sergeant. What's your status? Status is chafed, sir. You say chafed, Sergeant? Yes, sir. A local airborne insurgency has infiltrated the U.S. zone designated as my pants. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Shut up, jackass. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to Dubai. Yep. It's still dead. Yet to be seen, Sergeant. You got a lock on that transmission? Yes, sir. About 800 yards away. And we're 800 yards away from seeing who's more full of shit. You or Intel. Wow. If I wasn't a hard and killing machine, I might have hurt. Bunch of jackasses. This game at all. What? <laughs> uh, okay. It read my right, Steam name. This place has been designated a no man's land, which means we're not supposed to be here. So let's do this by the books, okay? Roger, Dodger. Okay, grab some cover. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be part of cover. Trailers or anyone speaking of this game at all? Yep. Now check your sights. Okay, the, the mouse can still escape from no, the game for some stupid reason. Good. So that needs to be adjusted. And as I was saying, I'm pretty sure an upside down flag is typically done in wartime. Come on, let's just find a way down. You got it. And it looks like the camera has a habit of jumping a bit. I'm guessing that's part of uh, something with DX uh, window as well. Yep, middle one for me specifically, it seems. Whee. That's enough, Lugo. I'm just keeping it light, boss. Yeah, I don't need light. I need you focused on the mission. What mission? We're basically poking a dead dog with a stick. We have our orders. Locate survivors, leave the city immediately. Radio command from outside the storm wall. Send in the cavalry, and go home. Okay, so we're scouts. Hey, did you guys hear that? You fucking with us? I am hurt that you'd even ask. Ain't yeah. nobody here, man. <laughs> That's going to need to be fixed. Huh. I could have sworn I heard somebody. Come on, let's just get this over with. Yeah, a lot of people try to get out not many succeeded hey, i'm presuming anyone out there doctor says what leave it alone no one's out there and what the fuck are we doing here lugo's got a point oh you taking his side now when he's right he's right hey command wants us to look around we look around i don't know sounds like a waste of three stone cold ruggedly handsome delta operators such as ourselves Think of it as a paid vacation. Well, for future reference, I prefer my beaches with a three-to-one sexy lady dead body ratio. Lugo, do you ever actually hear the shit coming out of your mouth? No, I do not, sir. I find it messes with my rhythm. We are walking back. Oh, dear. You know, it does feel like I'm being watched. Good. Someone should see how sexy I look on the job. Attempted evacuation. This looks like the place. I ended it completely. 
Yep, this is what we're looking for. Whatever it is. What's that supposed to be? It's a distress beak, whatever. It ain't military. Someone built this out of spare parts. Any idea who? No, not a fucking clue. God damn it. Walker, you better come see this. Okay. Oh, That's putting it lightly. Body looks fresh. It is. Even worse, he's 33rd. Who did this? Probably the same people been ghosting us. Well, that doesn't answer the question. Don't worry. I think we're about to find out. My name is Captain Martin Walker. We're looking for survivors. Why? So you can kill us too? My government and my rights. You speak Farsi? Maybe we can understand Hello. each other better. I got it. Hello, Ram. Good call, Lugo. Now you remember you already played the game. You sound like you're talking through a tuba. Hang on. What about now? What about now? Uh, no, you sound very loud still from my old phone. Okay, how about now? It's slower, but still loud. Oh, for God's sake, my freaking microphone is not fucking <laughs> Already, yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna do this microphone. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, uh, how about now? Nope. Okay, let me try this. Hey. The well, also, it wasn't too clear either, but. Uh, it, it, yeah. Oh dear. Uh. How are you doing, anyways, Ram? Keep moving, out the back. Oh, he off his mic there, so I think he's trying to fix whatever is going on with the mic. Yeah. Uh, Where's he hiding? Go, boy, cross the way. How about now? Give me the word and I'll take him out. Better, yeah. Okay, he's not the Lord of the Ball even. Okay, yeah, I remember you said you at least known about this game before playing it. So, uh, if you are planning on playing it through, uh, I suggest some warnings. Yeah, this game has a uh, this game has some uh, heavy moments. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and yeah, we can order our crew to do specific things. Lugo is the sniper, and Adam throws black <laughs> You can also just point them at a specific enemy and they'll just shoot them with the regular gun. Yeah. Also, weird thing. Also, some. Okay, here's a fun fact about a Walker's M4A1. Yeah. It has two iron. It has two rear iron sights. One that's folded down and one and the one in the front that's actually placed on backwards and it's clogged up by sand. Okay. <laughs> You're running out of ammo for this thing, though. <laughs> and here we have the execution. Congrats, you got extra ammo. I thought we were rescuing people. Cool, can you leave now? I get the feeling Dubai is gonna be better off if you leave. The hell was that? I'm picking up a distress call. Batch it through. 33rd dispatch. This is Alpha Patrol. We're under attack. Repeat, the insurgents have us surrounded. Request immediate assistance. Ah! Shit! Marks it down! We need backup! Lugo, distance. About a hundred yards away. Let's move. Shit, we got hostiles! <laughs> Slip from cover to cover. Okay, okay that's. <laughs> yeah, that's a shielded gun. Yep. yep. They cover it. Yep. And again, the. 
And the game is running in DX Windows, so the mouse can escape at the moment. Not to my knowledge. Yeah, there's, a, there's an exploded barrel next to the... You have to get closer, like... To get to the next bit of cover. Let's swap between. Yeah. And there it is. <laughs> Not needed anymore, but oh well. That mouse freaking... Yeah. If we do okay, stream this yeah. game, we do need to... Uh, yep, I, I do need to... Tinker yeah. around with it a bit in DX window to stop stuff from that from happening. Yeah, I was about to say you do. Wait, you can execute them. Get some ammo. Okay. Pretty sure that's considered a war crime, though, since they were already disabled. They were dying, so at this point it's more mercy killing. It gets worse as it goes along. Alpha, if you can hear me, we're also, approaching try your using, position. I don't know, your smite arm? Or, if you're low and, and yeah. Are you hurt? Is anyone else with you? You know, one thing I never understood about modern military service is why... Okay, stay cool. Man, we're almost I'll there. Let the play out. One thing I never understood about Guys, modern military series is why they always limit you to two yet. weapons. Especially if a person has like enough space for say a sidearm and two and two main weapons like in Gears of War. Or binary domain. Nice. What Not sure too ma as much myself. Yeah, one was trying to heal another, or stabilize another. Um, again. Yeah, I, I think it's typically done more for balance reasons, or because it's become the standard. Which, yeah. well, it does not is not always for the best with a game. It seems to depend on the game. I think I spotted a oddity. What? Depending on from where he is shooting, it looks like the bullets leave the barrel from the wrong angle. Good chance on that. Yeah, that's a nerd thing. They do a lot of that. You're out of ammo. Down to the sidearm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> How did you even manage to aim to the right? Yeah, there's, there's something in the game that's disagreeing with DX window and causing it to swap around. Let's take one of these. Hey, look, you have an M4A1. You get a gun now. Yeah, you get it. Hey, did you know this game has co-op? I didn't actually. Yeah, this game has a few missions of two-player co-op. Oh, PC, though. But I do own the game if you want to co-op it. Thank you. Yep, again. Yep. Adam says that covered. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. You can also melee. Did you really have to shoot Luga? I was gonna say. <laughs> he jumped out on me. I was gonna say, you can always just melee them and thus get them. Shit. Got a hostage situation. Alright, calm down and let him go. I don't got any closer. Hurry up, Walker. But act fast, Walker, or he's dead. I got to get back. I yep. Oh, so he got lucky there. All of those bullets went past him. And, wait, did the guy still die for some reason? Yep, he's dead. 
You're gonna have to talk fast, boss. He's fading. I was not fairly We're certain you're supposed to be wearing ACs, but their camo looks Forgive a bit me. too white. I'm gonna say. It looks more like urban camo where than they took him. standard ACs. They took him to the nest. 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 All right, good. And what about Conrad? Is he still alive? God damn it. Lugo, mark the bodies on tack. Adams, check outside for tracks. I want to know what the hell is going on in this city. Got multiple tracks headed north. Then we follow them. Pretty surprised you can find them in the middle of the battlefield where we were running around earlier. Also, I want to point out, I'm fairly certain you want to, like, once you find evidence of people alive, you might want to, argue, you know, this leave exactly and call for backup because you're three assholes going yeah, well, into the city guns and shit. Yeah, to rescue the minute we found you yeah we'll be actually pushing. talking about it right now. <laughs> Fucking orders. I like it. Orders ain't worth following if it means leaving people to die, Lugo. Conrad's still alive. I think he is. I know he'd agree with me. Tracks end here. Guess this is the nest. Yeah, it's quaint. Very post-apocalyptic. Just don't get cocky. Remember, these guys already took out four soldiers and kidnapped another. Chapter 2, The Dune. And yeah, this place has really yeah, gone to hell, up. huh? There was a whole lot of below on the walkway. Put him down. Ah! Damn it, I'm out. Hmm? I was gonna say don't shoot because they'll find out if you let those two kill them. They'll kill them silently if they don't. Okay. Kill them. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so much for stealth. Grenades. Yeah. Grenades. Looks like someone's stocking up for winter. Should grab what we can carry. No point wasting them. Oh dear. I, I feel like this this place uh, had a bit of a natural disaster. Yeah. Yeah. Dubai, yeah in the background, basically, Dubai got caught in what is effectively biblical level transform. The rest got out, the poor residents got stuck in, and the 33rd, basically the military battalion they're looking for, decided to stay behind rather than leave the Middle East to try and help with evacuation. As you can see, it didn't end well. Yeah. Dubai is goodbye. Eat. Wrong button. <laughs> Melium or not? Well, this is likely going to get us a copy claim. <laughs> Straight to him. Once we know the 33rd is safe, we'll radio for evac. Sounds like we accidentally broke a ceasefire. Nah, the ceasefire had already been broke. Well, actually, it might have. Just fucking knows. They were already been attacked by the moment we got to the, okay. to the plane area. Get the fuck out of here! Yep. Okay, that's happening more, more frequently now. Okay. Hmm? 
No, I mean like the constant bolting of the mouse is really good. I don't think yeah. I remember anybody going through that. Also, you can use... Also, you can grab that to release weapon. Another sand flow. Uh, almost shot our own guy again. <laughs> 50 kill this time. Yeah. Oh, we, we can crouch behind this thing? Okay. Yep. Yeah, you crouch. You're less accurate with the turret, but look like you could get completely shot at. Yeah. Okay. Any ammo on any of these? Where the hell did they go? That was too easy, boys. Heads up. Watch it. with a grenade launcher. Okay, we can swap between. Fucking Christ! Move, move, move! He's a fucking ambush! Take cover! Can I throw him up? Tango, try to uh, yeah, the ammo box behind. <laughs> okay. At the very least, what yeah, at the very least what can be said about our allies is that they are competent at killing enemies as well. Got one. Oops. <laughs> Too low. Oh, and there goes our cover. Quickly. And that's the timer, so let's finish this firefight and then we'll move on to the next game. Mm. Yep, and, and dead. Walk is dead. Ah, screw it. That's one way to end the firefight. Yeah. <laughs> Look, goodbye. And all its dead glory. I'm uh, okay. fairly unsure about this one. Okay, why? Mm. I don't know, but it just normally these are not my kind of games. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, let's see. We have time for about one and a half more. So, well, I think this one doesn't need too much introduction either. Let me swap these around. There we go. Yeah, the Stanley Parable. If you've heard about this game, then... Okay. Yeah. Watch the monitor in the game, and then the monitor in oh that one. God. There's a new one out. Yeah, I, I think I have it on... Hang on. Let me check something. Starting the timer. Yeah, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what it was called. Having extra endings and all. Yeah. yeah. Because, well, this game is wacky, to this say, simply. A man named Stanley. Of course, we have a dinner right there. company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. Where this game started out as a source mod, so you're thinking, and hey, that model looks familiar. familiar. It's probably one of the male models came to from, like, Half-Life 2, just repainted. How long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. You know, I've been left and for then one day, too. something very peculiar happened. Something that mm -hmm. would forever change Stan. Now, something he would never quite first. forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. 
But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, first off, let me look for... Uh, yeah, full captions. Okay. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, I was thinking about Love for Death 2. Okay. Want to try it again? I mean, part of me does want to try it, but part of me is also afraid of some jackass joining in out of nowhere, so we would still need a fourth person to fill in the empty slot. Yeah, and, and even then they could get in on a spectator spot, perhaps. Even then, yeah. Yeah. So, so part of me was just thinking of us just like, I don't know, playing it off, like, not on stream, just for the hell of it. Okay, could definitely do that, yeah. Because I do get the feeling that uh, somehow the hacker might have been watching the stream or something and and did all that bullshit because of that up there. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. After what happened, I feel like it's probably good to not stream it. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. Saying, to, I'm not saying to stream it. I'm saying, like, to just play it on our own time, no stream stuff, just sort of us goofing around. Yeah, I'd be up for that. All of his co-workers were gone. What, could what about mean? you? Would you like to join in? Stanner Andrew decided to go to the uh, I escape. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What? I escape. Oh, you wouldn't. It's... So you wouldn't. I probably would not enjoy the game playing it. I'm, I'm more enjoy watching it than playing it. No, I mean like, like since you, like I said, since you enjoy more hearing more talking i was thinking more like you just joining to have this background commentary anyways even if we don't stream when it stanley came to a set of two open doors he yeah, entered the for... door on his left let me see like if it is recorded to be put on youtube i could join but otherwise yeah let me see it depends how i feel it's very That's bright fine. outside yeah the the Guy is suddenly on Yet fire. There's not a single person here either. Feeling yeah, a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided you know, to go right like to his boss's office, hoping he might IT find an answer there. They probably always have to basically tell everyone, okay, try turning your computer off and on again. Free review of weekend <laughs> review. <laughs> Let's see, what do people want? Things, uh, not sure what the second one is. <laughs> Mike James, you are fired. <laughs> money, more money, things, but with money to buy more things, graphs, graphs about things plus money, we have our new product. <laughs> okay. Uh, rate at which charts on this same slide depict the same information. Uh, okay. Room closets. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Oh well. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Still fucking bright outside. My god, my eyeballs. Seriously, who yeah, turned on yeah, it is bright. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Also, logo for the game. Yeah, he said I don't know this narrator's name. But he is rather known for being very... It's basically a comedian in his own right. Well, we could look up his name in a bit, probably. 
If I know, he he has been in all the dungeon games as the narrator for all of them. Right. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a mean, also of dungeon keeper or search or uh, uh, dungeons one, two, three, and four. Okay. Why did he uh, the spiritual sequel, so you can say. Years, it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Hmm. Okay, I'm remembering something Stanley that I'd learned. Uh, through the uh, large door that read Mind Control Facility. I think there was something I read you know, with the uh, narrator from a uh, Dungeon Keeper. I, I think he's the same voice actor as Paige from Beyond Good and Evil, but I'd need to double check that. Who? Oh. No. The narrator? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Let me actually do a quick look on that. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Path is open. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. 427. True. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? There's an empty one up there. Okay. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I don't know, it's not, it's not the same voice actor as Paige. It's voiced by Richard Ridings. The, the narrator in the Dungeon Keeper series, who is also who also does the voice of Peppa Pig's father. <laughs> That's what I found out and found hilarious. Yeah, but this is not operation. same narrator with Dungeon Keeper. With emotions, happy or sad or content, oh. walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Oh dear. Hey, those lights can't be anything good. Yeah, I think we, I really want to know the narrator for this game is for... He didn't do the Dungeon Keeper games, but he did do the Dungeons games. Let's see. And Kevin this Brighting. Hmm? Kevin, uh, Kevon Brighting, so K-E-V-A-N Brighting. Oh, yeah, that, okay, I think I heard that name before. I Most saw a green light. Most people light uh, as he, he being, well, a damn good narrator mm -hmm. and being a family. Yeah. Let's see, other things. Oh, apparently he also does, does voices in Void Bastards. Yeah, he, three. He, he, he there as well. I still think we should uh, stream that game at some point because it is just fun. Uh, two. Yeah, trying to remember why did you choose to not make a series on it? Yeah, I think we already were doing a bunch of others, so we can put it as a another option for a side quest. That's four. Oh, that's five. So where's four? Um. Hmm. Where is four? 
I am unsure about us streaming this game since, let's be honest, it's a fun game. It would be tricky to concomitant in it, and as well, With well, almost everyone had made a video on it. Yeah, yeah I would suggest people try this game themselves. Uh, because, well, we've been following the narrator's uh, instructions so far, but you can go off script and, well, that's, that's where most of the fun in this game is. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you've been following his instructions so far. <laughs> well, it is the quickest route and we don't, and the timer is just running low. True. Uh, I think we can probably showcase one more game after we're done with uh, this. There, five. Hang on, I gotta go. Is there a sixth? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I didn't. I didn't see a sixth one anywhere. So let's just go look here. Let's see. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty his obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. You know, the thing was already off, so not sure what turning extra off would do. It was idle. Also, who are you? And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Someone needs to grease those hinges a bit, because it's really slow. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley... <laughs> was happy. Okay, apparently they've also been doing the narrator voice for Beat the Game, Complete the Stanley Parable. <laughs> and it just resets to here. Yeah, uh, what the? This could used to me you were playing Soundfall. Okay, it, it, it did think it did think it was still running, so I'm guessing something must be glitching between it and Discord. But uh, yeah, let's leave it at that. And if people want to experience the insanity that is what happens when you start disobeying the narrator, well, the game should be pretty cheap nowadays, anyways. Yeah, or you can find a lot of YouTubers have done it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the narrator for that has also been doing narrator voices for a couple of Portal miniseries, apparently. I didn't even know there were Portal miniseries. Oh, yeah, there was some uh, miniseries inside the series. They, he, they may have been in... For, for, no, they actually done a lot. I think they've been on some uh, animations. <laughs> they've also been in a Doctor Who episode, apparently. Okay. It kind of suits him. <laughs> see, Void Bastards, Ocean Horn 2, Accounting Plus. Anyway, oh, come on. Oh, yeah, Accounting Plus.
And again, for some reason, for some reason, Borderless Gaming is recognizing this game only partially because it is in the favorites set to automatically be resized, but for some reason it's not actually fitting into it. And I can't readjust it for some reason, so I'll need to there put it in the list again. No size change, set window size 3203, 1920, 1080. That's the X and Y coordinates, and then the, the height and width of the window itself. There. Well, yeah. Last game we'll be showing today. If if it's going to cooperate, there we go, is called State of Mind. And something I noticed in here during the test, they've also worked on the Partisans 1941. Though it's not showing here, so it's, it's. I'm guessing it just grabs a random three games from their list. It, the only game I recognize is Inculumati, I've seen this some years later. The only thing I don't recognize. I don't recognize any of them, but what can you say about Inculumate About this one then? Uh, it's very and also very medieval old hence the name. And it seems to be so oh how do you describe it? it you you do fight and it's a bit more comical. Hmm. So uh, uh, less serious Apotheon. Oh there it is, Partisan 1941. Oh um, not exactly, says you do take turns. Right. I guess it is a uh, turn base, sort of, between two, two, three characters or something. It has been a while. It is simple. Oh, we also did shell tactics, right? That's... Maybe the, the, maybe specifically they worked on the expansion here, Ico's Choice, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that oh, God. that was made by no. Mimi Studios. A godlike burger, what the... This thing played through. You, 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 one of the last humans, you work in a space restaurant and you end up cooking your customers to serve to the other customers. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that it's, it's maybe just grabbing a few random games from the same publisher, not the same developer then. Anyway, let's start a new game here and get the timer running. Yeah. Let's see. Ta -ta, fictitious. Any resemblance? It, uh, come on, I did it again. Yeah, I was just to say. Okay, at Berlin, least this time I can just hit resize. Okay, Daedalic Entertainment. It's well, Ascent. they shouldn't need too much introduction since they've been working on quite a lot of stuff. Came by Martin Con uh, Gontafar or four, whatever. How is that Wait, said? Scandinavian kind of something. Yeah. You want? We didn't want to know something funny about this. Like uh, hey. last week, we didn't do a showcase Sunday, right? Indeed, for it was well. Festive this on your end, twenty fifth. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, yeah. I forgot. It was at New Year. And, and yeah, on that exact day, uh, <laughs> Ross Scott from uh, Accursed Farms uploaded a video on this game. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, let me check. And yeah, it looks all rough and such, but that's stylistic. Which honestly, I don't mind too uh, too much. Like it's still it's still obvious that quite a bit of work went into the models. It's just that they're intentionally rough. Yeah, when it is done like that, it kind of works. For it, it's then supposed to be an old style. And what's that supposed to be? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. Okay, I was gonna say it looks like you can count the the amount of pixels on their faces with one hand. Police eyed. This is Berlin, so makes sense. Heart rate, high or low? Too high, man. Blood pressure. Too high. And 
Those beta levels? Too high. James? Your son is extraordinarily gifted. Damn, where have I seen his face before? That's Richard Nolan, ma'am. He's with The Voice. And he's having seizures from the looks of it, or it's a very rough road. Yeah, seizures. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you should stabilize the head before you start poking anything in the neck, but okay. Oh, oh come on. Yeah, I feel like you and that maybe one of the restart your you computer here? after this. Now, it's not the computer, it's the game and borderless uh, gaming re disagreeing. You're in the central hospital. Can you open your eyes? You can I can't away. see anything. Don't worry. Your sight will return soon. A drone found you on the side of the M75. We'll begin with a sight test, and then I'll ask you a couple of questions. I'll create a glowing object in the room now. Do you see that? Try to concentrate your eyes on that object. Good. Again. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Very good. Your sight will return to normal soon. We're going to do some tests. Uh, cognitive, emotional, memory. It won't take long. Do you know what data it is? <laughs> no, I, I had it wrong. It was uploaded. The Cursed Tron video was uploaded almost two weeks ago on the, the Friday because it says here 13 days ago. Okay, but I had that partially wrong. Saturday, 11th of January, 2048. Very good. That's correct. I will now say a short sentence and then ask you a question about it. Ready? My eyes are blue, my hair is brown, my house is white. Which three colors did I mention? Blue, white, and brown? Very good, that's right. Can you tell me what happened? What? What happened? My family. Where are they? You can't remember anything? There were bots. Something was burning. Chaos. I don't know. Give it time. You're in good physical health. You were very lucky, Richard. Now I'm going to reconnect a part of your AR system. Ah. Unpleasant, isn't it? Your eyes and your brain will have to get used to it again. Can you stand up? Please follow me to the table. Oh dear. So, obviously, the reason I was serious about start, restarting your computer is more of the whole sound fall thing. Hmm, could be. Yeah. Take the cube from Slightly. the left side of the table. Make it glow yellow and place it on the right side of the table. Okay, cognition tests. That's the inventory cube. Change the color by applying light pressure to its side. Should you have any questions? Okay. Yeah, oh, yellow. Okay. And then we put it down. Well done, Richard. Please follow me. There is one more test. And what's have we here? Instead of Phalo scan? Let's see. Uh, last scan person, Nolan good. Richards. Scan report ended. <laughs> uh, we're catching bits of what's happening in the background with you, Ram. <laughs> Can't um, yeah, can't identify anything from it, but maybe you want to <laughs> mute things a bit. Let me try something. It's my son. Exactly. What's his name? James. 
Very good. Where is James? Is he here? You've already asked about your family. Just now. Don't you remember that? Where is he? It's just a test, Richard. James is a good kid. I love him. Of course you love him. You are his father. Do you get along well? Richard, One, two, he's three, a good kid. How about now? Do you know this person? That's... Yes? That's Jennifer? No. That's Tracy? Excellent. Tell me about her. What do you mean? Tell me anything about your wife. A memory, a story, anything. I know that we were... we're in a cab. It was nighttime. We were choking around. I took Tracy's hand. Keep going. The onboard systems were malfunctioning and it got colder. The windows got foggy. I told her we were almost there. Okay. Do you know how long ago this was? What do you mean? This memory. How long ago was it? I don't know. What about this? Do you recognize this building? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we've suffered a good amount of brain damage from whatever happened. Yeah, that Otherwise, we wouldn't be going through this. Excellent, Richard. What do you do? Also, I have no idea how to isolate background I'm noise. A specialist in. Okay. Oh, wait. I write about technology. Very good. And how would you describe your position on that matter? Do you have one? I'm a journalist. My position is the truth. Ah, that came fast. That's the standard line, right? You must say that all the time. Well, can I go back to work, Doctor? We'll wait and see. You suffer from amnistic confabulatory syndrome. Memory lapses, confusion, mood swings. But when you're home, you will start to feel better. You'll see. Okay, Richard. You're good to go. I feel queasy. It'll go away. Your memory will come back probably within the next few hours. Perhaps not completely, but let's be patient. Well then, I wish you the best. So, I can go? Of course. You've been given neurostabilizers. If you have any problems, contact me. Okay, but I... I don't remember where... Oh, yes, of course. You live at the West Plaza, Mr. Nolan. The cab will take you home. The medic bot at the entrance will escort you downstairs. Yeah, I, I don't think it'd be a good idea to l let someone with memory loss just walk out the door without an escort. <laughs> because they, they'll probably just end up right back where they started. And, I can't yeah. remember my own home. <laughs> this also, game this is, a... is a bit cyberpunky. Yeah, then I... I don't like the look of the Good evening, sir. hospital. Follow me. Nick. I will escort you Where downstairs. We are, but then again, I also spend three days inside of a clinic with nothing but beige around me. So well, let's just say, yeah, I had a near mental breakdown. Yep. Okay, this is uh, this is definitely a point against the game. This is a flash from the voice, this is your trusted annoying. source of news for sure Berlin and the Western now. world. There has been yet another bombing at one of Kurt's robotics production facilities. This has been the second attack within the last few days. In Nairobi, tensions remain high as fighting between Eastern and Western drone units continues in the mining region, destroying large amounts of natural resources. Something of note, there's no steering wheel or anything. That thing is completely auto uh, autonomous. So you can see why the system's glitching would uh, cause a car crash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I'm sticking with cars with a steering wheel where I can drive them, even if I don't have a license. Yeah, I always have a backup. Yeah, I feel like it should be an alternative in a car, not the, the only method. Like, 
Like, if it, there is a problem, you should be able to take control of it yourself. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure last I heard about that auto drive stuff from Tesla. By the way, Musk is an asshole. Uh, that, sub, that system has been absolutely failing at every point. Yeah, I think it caused at least one car crash so far. It also doesn't really tell when somebody's walking through in front of the car, so we'll just... I think I also remember reading about how the system would basically, if it's about to crash, it would shut itself down. Good evening, Richard. Just to make it look like it was driver error rather than the system fucking up. It's 7.33 p.m. Uh, what? Room temperature, 20 degrees Celsius. You have no more appointments today. Please forgive me. I powered down yesterday. What the hell? Is everything okay, sir? Can I bring you anything? Tracy! You have new cloud messages. Mm. Okay, shards of glass. Uh, that is a problem, yeah. Tracy, what is this bot doing here? I told you. If you like, I can answer that question. You shut your mouth. And yeah, this game is basically you know, a third person adventure game. Family photos. Like the the style can hardly be called high quality, but I still think it looks nice enough. It's it's simple and simplistic, and there's actually not too much need for high yeah high quality graphics in most games, especially since with a lot of AAA games, more more time seems to go to how everything looks instead of how everything plays. Starfield. Yeah, and just having it look so good. We of course uh, just be a very strain on the system to keep track of everything. Yeah. Tracy, I want this thing to disappear. If I may speak, sir. <laughs> sir, do you not want to know where your family is? Okay. Where is Tracy? Mrs. Tracy is not in. Yes, I can see that. She wanted me to inform you that she went to her parents for the weekend. Oh, wanted to inform the flying ad outside. She can stay there. What about James? Oh, she took him with her, of course. Correct, sir. They'll be back tomorrow morning. Should I give you a status update? You should do nothing. Did Tracy say why she went to her parents? How do you mean, sir? What was her reason? She only told me to be here for you. Did Tracy ever visit me in the hospital? Does she even know that I had an accident? I can't say anything about that, sir. You can't, or you don't want to. I don't understand, sir. <laughs> exactly. Completely useless. <laughs> Simon, who gave you a name anyway? Uh, are you still awake? Message box, Lydia. Richard, are you there? Come on, what's going on? Did something happen? E voicemail? Call me, please. Uh, yeah. Uh, I will say that, well, <clears throat> as Scott Ross's uh, video on this was, of course, very abridged. But I personally, well, Combined with what I know from this game, from that video, and the fact that it keeps resetting its size, I'm going to put this one as a no. Yeah, given how often it's just going to reset itself, it's going to be a problem for anybody watching and anybody playing. And yeah, and also, here. I do worry this might be one of those heavy games. Not so sure I'm heavy. It does get into philosophical stuff. Um, oh, but yeah, anyone interested in this game, I would suggest to go look up uh, A Cursed Farm and the episode on it there. Uh, Ross's Game Dungeon would definitely find you uh, <laughs> the channel and such. Bullet Surprise, okay. 
to investigate reporting for outstanding journalistic word in uncovering the drone gate affair. Okay, if something gets if something gets gates put behind it, it's typically a, a big deal, or at least made out to be. Their own book on it. Interesting, sir. May I ask who created those records? Walter, my ex-partner. Why are you asking? Those are some complex structures. He is intelligent. He was. Is he dead? I do not have any information about that. I apologize, sir. No, he's not dead. This stuff here made him crazy. Now he hates me. I do not understand, sir. No. How would you? I came out on top. He didn't. That's about the gist of it. The fucking ad just keeps going around the freaking buildings, pausing at every bloody window. <laughs> uh, do we have at least blinds installed or something? Doesn't oh, even look God. like it. Uh, the year is 2048, uh, uh, blinds are illegal, and ads just will harass your windows every day and night. Uh. Uh. But yeah, should we leave it here then? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay this is a curious one. Okay. Uh, okay. Soltaire First conspiracy. One? It's a nice little. No. It's a yeah. It's a no. It's a nice little uh, fitting of a reworked of a more gamified version of Solitaire, but yeah, not for us. Soundfall refuses to work, so can't really <laughs> can't really you know, judge it on that. Uh, Space Hulk Deathwing. What is your opinion on that one? Maybe yes. I... Depends uh, how cooperative it, it would work. It, I will say investigation first. Okay. Probably look up the Russian badge video about it, about it. For he he does mention how the single player part is. Okay, then we have Spec Ops the line. I uh, feel like we can give that one a shot. I'm in the middle, fifty-fifty on that one. Okay, that is. I, I do want to showcase it, but it will need... Some parts of it will definitely need heavy warnings, because uh, drowning someone beneath sand is probably the least of uh, the, <laughs> the, the things that's uh, that going happens. to... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm leaning more towards snow, but I am... it's not set in stone. Okay. Then we have the Stanley Parable, which, well, simply put, I think people should experience this game for themselves, or yeah, if, you don't, more... if you don't want it, you can look up plenty of people who have already played through everything of it. Yeah. And then we have State of Mind, which looks to be like a fine game, but uh, yeah, if it's just going to keep jumping around, it's going to be a no. Yeah. Lord the heck? No solid yes on this one, but only maybes and no's. I'll keep Soundfall around for another try next week. Uh, but beyond that, we'll have SteamWorld Quest, Hand of Gilgamesh, and The Strange Brigades, and whatever other games I install that are, well, alphabetically behind that. But for now, though, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me remove Always on Top. Change the screen share to the browser. And then we can see who are online. Let's see, a good amount of people on. Let me refresh just to make certain it's up to date. Okay, we have Dr. Misunderstood with Like a Dragon, Gaiden. Moonrise is playing Jackbox games. So Wolves is streaming Valheim. Cyrus here is playing Spyro 2, Rip Those Rage. Redacted Cat is playing a game called Alundra. Can't say I recognize that name, so let's take a peek. Uh, Reverend Kuhn is just chatting. Grim the Wolf is playing Lethal Company. And, okay, Alundra seems to be like an old-school uh, top-down fighting. Or uh, Can't really tell too much about it, other than it looks 32-bit-ish. Not sure if it's new or old. Um... Next, oh, we sure. have Theory Pop with Sonic Forces. K9 is playing Terraria. And last but not least, we have Horatius the Dwarf, who is uh, just chatting at the moment. Then I'm guessing they'll be playing the Moria game, because their title is at the moment Chat, then we game in the Mountain Home. 
So, yeah, they're probably going to continue with the Moria game. <clears throat> Any suggestions? Mm. Or shall I pick? I don't really have a choice, so you go ahead and pick. Pick here? Oh. I guess this one for... It has been a while since we raided this guy. Okay, redacted cat it is. Then we can also figure out just if this game is old or new. I'm presuming old, but we'll have to see. So for now, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has watching now or later. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, Lisa Charm. And do we have any lurkers? Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, well. <clears throat> And as, yes, yeah, of course, as always, thank you, Ram, and thank you, Drakir. You must, you're welcome as always, my friend. Okay. I'll see you guys later. See ya. See ya. Uh, let's see. In about three hours, if nothing gets in the way, we'll have a second stream today. I'm still pondering if to do one or last, or, or possibly last Dave the Diver stream. Uh, until there's new uh, new content more readily available. Or if we return to Hard Space Shipbreaker after a very, very, very long <laughs> leave of that. Let me actually check. When was the last time that we streamed that game? Shipbreaker. Oh. Uh, <laughs> February of 2022. So almost That's two years. Oh dear. So, what will it be then? Finish up with Dave or return to space? I see Dave. For I think okay. I may need it after today's stream. <laughs> okay. And we already have a game lined up for once we are done with it. We will, well, next weekend, we'll be continuing with uh, Retribution still. And yeah, once that one's done, we'll have to pick another game to put as a side quest. But for now, yeah, Dave the Diver. And then, actually, I think we can put in Hard Space Shipbreaker once we are done with uh, Retribution. That's probably a good idea. For we do have another game we did a little mini vote on. Yeah, and that's going to be Cleo, A Pirate's Tale. A game we haven't showcased before, but I have it on good authority that it is an actual good game. Wait, what, what the heck? Okay, I need, uh, okay. Can you? I need. I think you want me. I want you to translate something to me. Uh, go ahead. Does does open bar mean what I think it means? Open bar. Are you seeing that somewhere on screen or something? Uh, uh, earlier, when you were on uh, YouTube, I think when you looked up. Uh, uh, you... uh, where are you seeing that? Uh, the. Oh, okay, let's see. On Sixth Bar Haid, and there's next the video saying open bar. But what the heck does uh, oh. open bar mean? <laughs> That's public. Like okay. Private, <laughs> hidden, public. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is, uh, I, I, still need to I still need to upload a bunch of the old VODs to YouTube and publish the ones that I already did. I typically do okay. that on Friday or try to do it the day after, but I've been lazy with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think you can guess uh, what my brain translated that word as. Should I even ask? Open uh -oh. bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why I talk. I feel like it probably doesn't mean open bar, as in whatever you can or you can drink. It must be something else here. Okay. Uh, for context, open bar. That is O P E N B A A R. So I can see why the confusion is, and there's no space in between. <laughs> <laughs> Hence why I felt like ask if I feel like no, my brain is gonna trick me to think it means that, but it means something else. There, just in case. Anyways, uh, let's get that raid started then. And yeah, thank you all again for watching now or later. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And see you all later. Watch out for haunted singles. <laughs> and uh, whatever cost <laughs> and Tesla's auto drive. <laughs> Keep an eye out for that as well. <laughs>